Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark. In this video, we're going to look at how you can optimize the images of your LearnDash platform. And this is sort of a follow on to our previous video where we looked at measuring and improving the speed of your LearnDash platform. So if you haven't already watched that one, that was uh, at our last video that we did before this one. So check that one out. So images can be quite large, especially if they've not been resized prior to uploading and uh, being added in the wrong formats and things like that. And they can contribute towards quite a, a hefty load page if you've got a page that's got lots of images, um, if they are quite large. But what we're going to do in this video is install a plugin that allows you to go through your entire media library here and optimize the images that are within that. So we'll head to plugins and then go to add new. And what we're going to do is search for smush, S-M-U-C-S-H. And this is another plugin by WPMU Dev. So if you watched the previous video, they create the Hummingbird plugin that we use there. And we've created another video on their Defender plugin, which is a security plugin. And as I said previously, we like their plugins because they're nice and easy to use and they don't throw sales messages at you trying to get you to upgrade all the time. Um, and they're you know, generally quite well reviewed and uh, well updated. So I'm going to install Smush now. And I'm going to activate it. And then this will add Smush here in the bottom left hand corner. So I'm just going to click on that. And what it will say is that we've got no, none of our images are optimized in the media library and we haven't had any savings or anything like that. Uh, but what we can do now is bulk smush all 106 images that it says needs compressing. So we'll just run that now. And it says bulk smush it finds them here. Um, it says free users can do 50 at a time. So let's just go through that first 50 to start with. So it's just gonna go through and um, compress those and make sure that they're all optimized for speed. While that's working, I'll just look at some of the other settings here. So you can choose different levels of compression. So I've left this on basic. These are the default options, but the, the higher the level of compression, the smaller the file sizes will be, but there could be some compromise on image quality. So this basic says it achieves a flawless lossless compression, which means it doesn't lose any um, you know, sort of quality. However, the ones above will lose some. So this is called lossy compression and the quality of the images is degraded uh, in, you know, uh, to, to reduce the, the size and make them load quicker. It's also going to generate all of the thumbnails. So it will, uh, if, if you upload an image in WordPress, what it normally does is create a few different sizes of that image, uh, but you can specify certain thumbnail sizes if you want to. And you can make it so that it automatically upload, uh, automatically compresses those on upload and, um, you know, the, um, you have that, enabled um, and there's a few th things around metadata so images do have some sort of hidden metadata in them often that um, you know says who took the image where it was taken and things like that particularly if you take them on iPhones and um, yeah that is all data that takes up space in file size so you can take that out if you want to and there are a few other options here around image resizing and uh, compressing other bits and pieces here. So what we've done there is done a few of these. You can see that this is going up now. So we've um, smushed some of those images. Uh, what we'll do is just resume that. So it hit the first 50. We'll just get through the uh, rest of those. What I might do is just pause that while, uh, while that runs. So that's now completed and we can see that we've optimized all of the images in the media library and we've saved well half, half a megabyte there um, and you know we can see how many have, have been optimized. 
let's just take a look at the home page just to check that uh, this image hasn't really dropped in quality we can see that's all fine as are all of these so what it will have done is optimize all of these so that's one aspect of the plugin and the other that i'll point out here is this lazy load and what it does here it says it stops images that aren't on the visible sort of viewport of your browser from loading until the visitor scrolls to them and what this does is it just makes the page load faster because it's only loading the image that the person is actually seeing so i'm just going to activate that now so now that that's enabled it will work for all these types of image here and on these different types of content and we can choose how these appear so whether they fade in when someone gets to them on the page as well as things like showing a spinner while they're still loading and having placeholders in the place of them. And um, yeah, this just helps to make the pages load a lot quicker. You can also choose which post types these are enabled on. So if you didn't want to enable them for certain like Learn Dash courses, for example, you can um, disable that one here. And there are a few other bits here, like where the scripts to do this are and um, yeah, some of the other options, which I'll just leave as they are. So that's now optimized those images on the platform and that should help the pages to load more quickly and give a, a better experience for learners on the platform. So I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a like and if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.